Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm scared shitless we ran into Zazel. Sort of almost died on the last run, embarrassingly enough. No lost. No lost. That could be the lost. <laughs> oh baby! Here we go then, huh? Why are you lagging so much now? You shouldn't be lagging. Oh, don't make me like... Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, we knew it was going to happen. Does the streak end at 25? We are on the, the cellar as well. S1, SC, 8, LLG. Are we on hard mode? We knew it was going to happen at some point. We are on hard mode. Let's do it. Don't die on the first room. It's the most important thing. Get a room under your belt. I find as the lost. I do die a lot early. Everybody dies a lot early as the lost. Most people at least. Just get a couple of rooms under your belt. And remember, the pressure is off a little bit. Because we don't have to win. As much as it would be nice to. We just have to live long enough to get... Judas's Shadow, Lazarus's Rags, or the Ankh. Robo Baby 2.0. Actually, might be like a huge helper. I really, really hope we don't fight the haunt, by the way. But, um. Oh, shit. No, the street. <laughs> oh, it's the worst way to lose the streak. There we go. Okay. Well, that was fast. Our streak's down to zero. Easy come, easy go. That's the way I consider it. Let's do some lost runs then, all right? And I'm not going to do any bullshit like stopping and starting in a way that's freeing. I was enjoying the streak while it lasted, and I, I hoped that we'd kind of be able to do some amazing lost bullshit to, to cap it off, but there you go. At some point, we are probably going to have to um, get like a second save file going if we want to do randoms without getting the lost. The wafer, that doesn't really help us. Um, if we... Uh, like, I, I do want to try to get the best streak possible with random. You know, I don't want to just play as uh, Isaac all the freaking time. Actually, I do want to play as Isaac all the time, but I do like getting a little bit of variety on characters as well. Hopefully, we can find our shop over here. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe we'll work to set up a second save file or something like that. But for now, we don't really need to worry about that. The only thing we need to worry about is actually getting, you know, the criteria for real Platinum God now. And I can I can uh, breathe a little easier knowing that we could die seven times to the Lost right now and it doesn't matter. We'll still be here to do an eighth run. And we'll, you know, we'll do standard, ooh, haha, -ha, Northern Lion uh, Lost Maneuvering. And standard Northern Lion Lost Maneuvering is basically, if I die, I restart. If I die, I restart. If I die, I restart. If we get to, like, the half hour point, I'll probably not restart. My hope is that um, this run right here will just be a good one. All we gotta do is get to that first deal with the devil. We get to that first deal with the devil. Kind of ironic that we got killed by a Mullaboom as well, by the way, when that's what made it such a struggle for us to unlock the loss in the first place, was finding a seed with the damn Mullaboom on it. But anyway, I digress. I'm not salty about it. It might sound like I'm um, trying to overcompensate for my saltiness. I'm not salty. If anything, I'm actually very happy that the streak ended the way it did. And that might seem like it'd be disingenuous, but in actuality... You know, it could have ended on a non-lost run, and that would have been really disappointing for me, because then it would have felt like, oh, could I have done something differently? But instead, it just is what it is. You know, we, we played until we got the lost. We even won on one of those lost randoms, which is bullshit. We shouldn't be able to get bad trip here, I think. Full health, also not that effective for us, but um, luck down. What was the other one? Full health? All right, well, I guess 48-hour energy is what we're going to roll with here then. Might as well take the spirit heart. And we'll get an orbital here. Honestly, it seems like getting an orbital is actually kind of a good get as the, the lost could block a shot from hitting us. So yeah, there you go. The streak ended. 25. Again, it's not Cobalt streak level. Whoa. A little scary there. Um, now we'll probably get to minus 25 as we try to piece together a lost run that can beat Boss Rush and or uh, the Dark Room path through the game. But I'm excited. I wish there was a way to like get real Platinum God and then just be like, you know what? Let's un-unlock the Lost. Or at least... Hey, Ed and Tyrone, if you're listening to this, make it so that Eden... Mm, I guess you, you, it's more difficult to make it so Eden is randomable. 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 Of course, ball advantages. Um, because we did go to that room. Okay. Um, because you might not have Eden tokens, but make it so that the Lost doesn't show up in your random either. It ruins random, dog. Which is fine. It, it keeps things... Uh, 
keeps things uh, on your toes every time you hit that Russian roulette button. However, I would prefer if we could do it a little guilt-free and then, you know, honestly, that, that streak has opened my mind, man. Previously, our best streak in Rebirth was fucking four. 25 is a, a smashing success as far as I'm concerned. I don't want to eulogize it too, too much because I hope to get a lot more in the future. I'm not going to show you guys the seeds here just because we're going to probably have a bunch of them. This is a damn shame that we had Goathead, actually. Really wish that that was uh, nine lives instead. But the only reason I went into that room right away is because it was right there. So why not? Ipecac. This, strangely enough, makes me feel a lot more confident about this uh, this run's chances. See if we can get some tarot cards in here. I don't, I'd rather not fight any hosts if we can avoid it. The Hermit is fine. Judgment. I, I assume if we play that Judgment, we'll die. Well, if we were not the Lost, we would have an incredible run right now. The World. All right, we'll pop that so we can see secret rooms. That appears to be a library back there. Uh, should we go to the library? Why would I want to go to the library? Book of Belial. Yes, okay, that makes sense. That's Satanic Bible. I don't know if Satanic Bible actually does anything for us. But we'll take it anyway? Maybe it gives us better evil, aka a more chance, uh, better chance to get uh, into the devil rooms? So, Ipecac, obviously a, a harsh mistress, but also uh, a fantastic item that could end up saving the day on our lost run. Now we need Holy Mantle, or nine lives. And we wouldn't need much more than that to actually get a victory. I guess you don't need much more than that to get a victory in the worst of times, but this would uh, this would be even more conceivable right now. Let's keep moving. Might find a second secret room here. I apologize, my commentary might be a little stunted. Uh, that's because I've got to do everything in my power to not get freaking hit. Health, oh yeah, three health upgrades. Very exciting. Rare to find a room where three health upgrades are worse than one speed downgrade. Or are not as... They don't compensate for one speed downgrade, I should say. Get that gurgling the fuck away from me. Get your flies away from me. Get all of your bullshit away from me, alright? I'm not dealing with it today. We're gonna beat you, and then we're gonna pick up this HP upgrade, which means nothing, and we're gonna head down to the next floor. I'm gonna beat the boss, I'm gonna get nine lives, I'm gonna beat boss rush, and... I'm going to beat... I should have taken the Hermit so we could go to the Curse Room for free. That's way more important than anything else. My mistake. Hopefully we'll get a chance to get it back. But, um... Ooh, you stay the hell away from me, too. We're gonna get nine lives, we're gonna win. We're probably actually just gonna get hit... ...pretty soon. But that's okay, too. You know, it shit happens. I can't control for everything. Sometimes you gotta let the game, uh... You gotta let the game carry you a little bit. I can't imagine black lipstick is very good for us as the lost. I'm assuming that it's actually worthless. Oh, fuck this room. So what's the real danger with Ipecac? Crowded rooms, man. Non-crowded rooms don't matter. As long as we're fast enough to get out of enemies' ways, which is actually a little bit potentially dangerous for us. Let's fight the boss right away. I should be looking for black markets as well. But... Black markets should be free, right? No, we're going up here. Dingle can't break the poop. That's his number one weakness. That and he's very weak against explosions. That's not true, by the way, but I mean, I guess it's true for all of us. If it's true for Dingle, it's true for all of us. Deal with the devil. Dogbone, come on, give me some other stats, please, but this is fine. Would I rather have Satanic Bible or Krampus' head? I guess I'd rather have Krampus' head so I could hit enemies from afar. Uh, so sure, thank you, the Satanic Bible, for your service while it lasted. I think we have to try to explore the rest of the room to try to find item rooms. Uh, again, Holy Mantle sh has showed up in a lot of item rooms for us recently. And a lot of people might, um, you know, look at Ipecac and say, Ooh, that's really dangerous if you're the Lost. And you're not wrong. But at the same time, I think it's also just kind of like, it's a blessing in disguise. Because you can kill enemies much faster, which means you're at much less risk, I would say. But these big rooms are, are what really is going to bother me, I think. You know what? There you go. How do I feel about that? I feel pretty good about that, to answer the question I posed to my very self. Pretty Fly is helpful. I don't know if... Where's our... It would be, like, right here if there was a secret room there. It's not there. 
Still got this magician card. You never know when that's going to come in handy. And there's our item room. It would mean so much to me if you could just give me an orbital or holy mantle. That's shielded tears. Uh, I don't know if this means our Ipecac shots. I mean, they seem like they're going to block tears, which is pretty cool. That might actually cause us to not take damage in some very like niche circumstances, but I'm somewhat skeptical of it, as you know, I think everyone probably should be. This has to be our secret room. Like, I refuse to believe otherwise right now. How is it not? Is, could it be over here? And it's not over here? Okay, we'll just check everywhere then. No secret room on this floor, maybe? Oh, whoa! I did not expect it to be there. Extra bombs. Well, you know, not, not a whole lot of good stuff out of that, but I'll live with it. Okay. We're still alive, so this is going to become probably the defining run of this video. We got some half-decent items and some exceptionally scary items along with it. But Ipecac, you know, if it, it bites the hand that feeds, at least it licked it a couple of times first, right? I guess we should make sure that we're going fast enough to have a good chance at boss rush. Had to. Had to be a little risky there. And that's the thing, is that, you know, this room, not that bad if you can get hit more than once, but there's all these rooms that you don't even think about from, like, a lost standpoint, right? You go, oh, that room's easy, and then you face it as the lost, and you're like, ah, oh, shit. So Liberty Cap basically by definition has to be better for us if it gives us like the occasional compass effect or something like that uh, Isaac's fork by definition has to be substantially worse one up is it not one ups magic mush I would love uh, I'm not gonna open maybe I should open it oh good a health upgrade could we get an item if we open it like I know we could get an item but could we get like would it be guaranteed to be a secret room item? Because if it's guaranteed to be a secret room item, that's huge. Well, we got a second key. One of those would be item room, the other one would be shop. But let's take a little risk here. Come on, be a one-up. Somehow. Jera rune. Okay. How would we use a Yera rune slash Jera rune effectively in our, in our lives right now? Oh. Oh, we should not have taken shielded tears. I'm realizing now. <laughs> Do you see why? That death card's pretty useful. Um, the reason we should not have taken a Shield of Tears is because now if a bullet comes towards us, it'll just kill us. It'll go off right away. It's too risky. But my thinking is that we would use it for... Deal with the Devil Red Chests? Because we're not going down to the regular chest anyway. Oh my god, the fly. Use Krampus' head, you scumbag! <laughs> I don't know, I lost control of my body there. Thank God, we lived. We got synth oil. We haven't been to our item room yet, so we got more exploring left to do. Okay. This is, uh, it's fine. We're just cruising. Just cruising along right now. We actually are going pretty quickly. I will give us that. I mean, it's a pretty obvious byproduct of, uh, Having the items we have. Maybe instead of using it on deals with the devil red chests, we could use it on like a curse room's red chests. I'm not sure though, because I think there's a chance that they pay out with the same thing that the one that they're duplicated from pays out with, which might be great if we got like two guppy items somehow. I don't know if that's conceivable. You know, that's why I like the Lost, and I actually, I, mean, I don't think the Lost is a good character. I'm, I'm not saying I wish it, oh, what is this? Skype message. Uh, I'm not saying it's a good character. I'm not saying the game would be better without it, though. Uh, but it forces you to think a little differently, which I appreciate a great deal. Because otherwise, I think you, you know, some people probably caught on during the streak. But there were some times during the streak where I was like, you know, every run's kind of... It's getting a little samey. We're, we're going through the same steps every single time. Which is, is great to be able to, you know, have a game like Isaac where you can get it down cold like that. And it's great that every run is still interesting in spite of the fact that there are some, like, obvious steps that you take, like, every run to make your run work as best as possible. But I do like being on edge at all times here. I can't take number one. 
Also, it gives me an excuse to not, uh... Nah, I can't do that. Uh, playing as Lost gives me an excuse to not take some items. Probably a good excuse not to take Ipecac. But that would be dumb, because Ipecac is really good. Even as the Lost. Balls of Steel. Health up. This is just comical at this point. Tears up. That's more uh, along the lines of what I was looking for. So I guess that'll do it for this floor. Oh, no, there's a little bit more. It's always scary, though, because you never know if that little bit more is going to kill you. Secret room's got to be, like, below us right here. I think we've looked in all other conceivable locations. No? <laughs> I've had lost my voice a little bit. No? Are you sure? No. Okay. We're going to... Um... Oh, it won't be here either. We're going to look for mushrooms then. Maybe some more tiers upgrades. You never know. I would hate... Oh, that's so good. I would hate to get myself killed blowing up mushrooms, but... I guess that's going to do it here. There is one more possible location for it. So far, so good. We haven't been hit. It's no mom's knife. Triple shot proptosis. There we go. Alrighty then. Glad I took the effort to look for it. Next floor should have a deal with the devil, and that's where we get our chance to breathe a little easier. There are a few items that would be not terrible. They're not likely to come from regular old iron chests, though. I hate that room. That room could get me killed. This room, probably less likely. But I could still take a renegade shot from like one of these guys randomly. 15 cents gives us a chance to buy an item. There are a couple of shop items. I don't want to... <sighs> I don't want to think too hard about what they are right now. I also don't want to... Like, I wonder if a reroll room is the lost would actually just make it so we're not the lost anymore, which would be bad. We wouldn't get the achievement. Book of Secrets. I mean, there's like some value in that. It shows us where the secret rooms are now, so we don't have to look for them as hard. Look, I'll go into the double room. I'm not going to reroll it, though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's try it. And what are we looking for here? Nine lives or uh, just becoming guppy as well would be. Oh, transpor transported me to a deal with the devil where we get ghost baby for free. That's not very good. Neither is that. Are all these going to pay out with the same thing? Okay, we got some pills. Don't, no, fuck off, spiders. Yeah, I think they all pay out with the same thing. We learned that on an earlier run, I thought, but... Okay, it's same pills. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We got we got a guppy item, and it's a guppy item that can keep us alive. We also got latch key for some extra keys. If nothing else, this and the spirit art that we can't use, and the luck upgrade, I guess, but if nothing else, we've gotten something out of this. And this would be a great room if we just, you know... Didn't have to deal with this bullshit. And we got a couple of health upgrades as well, which is awesome. Except not at all. Why take the health upgrade? It's just such superstition. We might as well take the speed downgrade. The speed downgrade has a small but admittedly beyond theoretical chance to be useful. Alright, so we got one guppy item. It is the, the smallest of hopes. We also have a full suite of orbitals now. Uh, if I want to do boss rush, I gotta get a move on. What's more important, doing our due diligence or getting boss rush? Maybe getting boss rush. Because we could at least do something on this run. Let's see what we get from this boss if we live. That's a good start. Well, what would we be looking for? We've already been to our item room. We'd just be looking for the shop. There's no curse room. Or maybe there is, but we would. We don't want to go to it anyway. Uh, so down to the next floor. That deal with the devil only had... Uh, only had uh, Ghost Baby in it. So we're on Depths 1. Don't blow it here. It's easy to blow here. He says while gesturing at your mother's brown snake. Really? Double host? I got the glitched one out. He doesn't want to talk anymore. There we go. And there we go. We're going to blow up as many of those as we can because the Joker cards, man. Use a little bit of a range upgrade. The spiders are getting a little close for comfort. That's helpful. Not a Joker card, but Moon card. No, no greed. Okay, pills. 
theoretically at least. I can see forever, that's pretty nice. This is, you know, a new new style of play for me. Slow diligence. Or s maybe speed diligence might actually make more sense. We're not going very slowly. But uh, we're certainly not breaking any land speed records either. Okay, just get away. Good. Good. Any one of these rooms could be the room that, you know, breaks the camel's back here. There is a curse room on this floor. There's where our item room and our uh, our shop and our boss room are. Maybe not shop, but definitely item room and boss room. So, my thinking is we uh, we leave to head over in that general direction. Where you at? Where you at? We leave to head over in that general direction, and if we get like a teleportation card, then I will relish the opportunity to go back to that curse room. But for now, I can't really justify it. Red chests? No. Man, left hand would be probably pretty useful right now. Are you gonna explode? Thank you for exploding on the other side of the map. I appreciate that a great deal. You didn't have to do that. I respect your decision to continue giving me a chance of success here. You're too kind. Dude, a 14 minute lost run. That's meaningful, dog. That means something. I don't like leapers. Any enemy that can just get up in your face without you really being aware of it, those are the dangerous ones. <laughs> We're not taking guillotine. As much as people people will try to make a case that like guillotine can save this lost run. Yo, dude, dude, just take the guillotine. We're gonna play this actually to see if we can get a better trinket. Just take the guillotine and then use your head as an orbital and you'll be fine, dog. It's extremely, extremely, extremely risky. Look, we probably shouldn't spend 15 cents. We already did, but we can get one back, presume. Oh, never mind. I was thinking just because the shop was right over there, but you know, no big deal, I guess. Uh, if it's just Dingle, it's an easy room. Just go like this, and there's a black heart, and there's a dry baby, which is actually pretty nice. I never want any bullets to get close enough so that dry baby can actually work out in our favor, but let's be honest, that's, uh, that's a pipe dream. It's gonna happen, whether I want it to or not. Where's our secret room? Why don't you shoot me? I'll be very, very perturbed by that. Cancer trinket. Look, probably saying that looks pretty good. What's wrong with a cancer trinket, Northern Lion? Nothing and everything. Being able to fire twice as much with Ipecac would be amazing for DPS, but I could also mess up my uh, equilibrium, get myself fairly hurt. Why even I'm blowing these up to see if I can get freaking spirit hearts? Good decision. Don't jump. Okay, good, good. I appreciate it. We're gonna get Little Gish and a secret room. Or sorry, a devil room. We, we aren't guaranteed a devil room, but I wanna hold out hope that we can get a devil room here. No devil room, but Little Gish. Ah, it's gonna be one of these runs. Fuck the shop. We could take damage going into it. Let's keep it moving. We do have a chance at boss rush here. Curse of the Blind means we don't even know what our items are. <gasps> oh no! Oh, Guppy's collar brought us back. Okay, 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 okay. So I, what happened there? How did it all go crashing down? I used the death card, thinking it would kill them, and then I made an ill-advised dodge. That you pretty much got it right there. Death card didn't quite finish the job, and I uh, nearly ended my run right there. Not interested at all in that tower card. You're still alive, huh? That's surprising. I don't know why I did that, then exited, then came back in, but let's see. Red chests. If there's red chests, we have to fight. Back off. Whoa! Okay, this is dangerous. Please die quickly. Please die quickly. Luckily, Ipecac is breaking some of the fires. Okay, that's probably the worst of the two bosses. Next one is just the husk. But he's getting, he's getting in here. He's doing some stuff I'm not fond of. There we go. Keep him bounced away. Stop generating so many assholes, okay? This is a no, this is an asshole free zone. Two guppy items. Make me guppy. One of them nine lives. That's more important than actually becoming guppy at this point. What about this one? 
Oh, Guppy's head. We're two thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. We nine lives is sincerely so much more important than just becoming Guppy. But this is pretty good. I still think Krampus's head is a little bit better than Guppy's head for us in our current situation. <laughs> oh. Whatever you do, don't accidentally shoot like the rocks right in front of you. Just play it cool. You'll know when it's your time. That's good. Okay, item room. I've been good this year, I promise. Work with me. Guppy. Holy mantle. Dead Sea Scrolls. I can't I can't take it. Could be kamikaze. Oh fudge. Okay, one up. That is agreed. That's not one up. Maybe we can bomb our way into a curse room or something. It's gonna be a steam sale. I don't think it can be the quarter if it's just regular greed. Wow, you found a pretty safe spot over there, so you think. Rob, why are you playing The Amazing Spider-Man 2? I'm looking at Steam right now. I'm calling you out, baby. Is it good? Yeah, I, know, I can already tell what Rob's going to say. You know, the swing of physics are actually pretty, pretty fucking good. That's my impression of Rob right there. So, I, I hate the idea of doing boss rush when we uh, don't even know what items we're going to be picking up on boss rush. But fuck, maybe we just go for it, baby. Justice. There is no justice on this run. Joker, though. The Joker, though. There is a curse. There's no curse room that we can see. Let's Joker it up right now. Guppy's hairball. We're Guppy. Nine lives. Demon baby. Oh, fudge. We're Guppy. The guppiness is amazing, but we don't have the rest of the guppy. We need, we got the wrong guppy item. But I'm still very happy to, to be guppy. Don't get me wrong on that one. Our speed sucks real bad here, by the way. Oh good, the flies did it, okay. We're gonna take the negative, and you're gonna hate me, but I think Rather than taking one of these trying to do boss rush, we just got to try to do the dark room. I like our chances of doing dark room and getting nine lives better. This is not a run where I feel strong enough to do this. But I'm going to do it anyway. Speedball. Actually, the shot speed up there helps. It really sincerely does. All right. Carrion Queen is a bitch. Get that damage done right away. Keep our protection over here as long as we can. F <laughs> oh my god. We lived okay. We got some poops in our area. No hot singles, just poops. I mean, a poop could be a hot single if you don't think about it. So I think now... Oh, you dropped one like right in the two corners of the map that I wanted to occupy, you bastard. All right, so the most thing, the most important thing for us to watch out for is random shots from enemies like the bloat. That is the only thing that crushes us on this run. This kills the this kills the guppy. Any other shot we can mess with it. Now we have to watch out for bullets cuz those could unfortunately blow up our ipecac shots. We can walk over spikes. Internalize that. I can walk over spikes. Where's my other enemy here? Loki? Where you at, dog? Okay. Sneak some Loki shots in there. Blow up all the rocks that you could have used as protection, you asshole. Oh, dry baby. Doing work. Much respect where respect is due. Where did we die in our last one? Well, last one didn't really count because we were on um, normal mode, aka easy mode. But we died on the round right after Gertie. Which I, I don't recall what it is. You're going to hit the poop. You're going to hit the poop. I'm just going to wait back here for the other one because I don't know what it is. Okay. Monstro. 
The other dangerous wave for us, by the way, Monstro, 2, and Little Gish. Okay, so this is not a dangerous wave, but at the very least, normal mode aside, it's looking pretty sweet for our chances here. I think the other one was Gish and Monstro 2, the one that comes after this. Okay, they're jumping. They're jumping. They're jumping again. Watch out for the poop. Don't walk into the poop. It is nice to know. We have a small chance of success, even if we die. There we go. That's what you're looking out for. They're dead. That's a tough wave. Oh, they're not quite dead yet. That's a tough wave. Bloat spawns with Mask of Infamy. Whoa. If we see Mask of Infamy, we gotta go, dog. We gotta make sure we're standing behind it. We gotta kill that piece of garbage. That pizza garbage. Before anything gets too risky. This is it right here. This is the moment. We can totally go over this. Good stuff. Good stuff. Lost all our flies. That's okay. We're on the final waves of the horsemen now. What's the next biggest threat? The scythes from death. The scythes from death. Just take out death. Don't let it shoot any scythes. It's shooting some scythes. They're all dead. They hit the poop. War's coming at me. Where are you coming, War? Where are you going? Then it's the Fallen. Well, I mean, like, obviously it's the Fallen because that's the only enemy left, but we gotta get the Fallen taken out. The Pony is nothing. The Pony is nothing! The Fallen wasn't completely dead. Watch out for the head. Holy shit, we're so close. So close. So close! One hit, probably. Don't hit the poop! Don't hit the poop! Come on, come on. Oh god, thank god. We got the D100. And... My little unicorn. We don't have good enough orbitals to really make me feel great about My Little Unicorn. Unicorn Stump, I would go apeshit for. Okay. <laughs> now remember, we're going down, baby. I didn't expect this run to go in that direction, but suffice it to say, I'm glad of the decisions that were made. I think we have a chance at Dark Room. We'll probably get hit. We really, like, it would help out so much. Thank God <laughs> that we got that Eternal Art. It would help out so much if we could just get fucking nine lives. I swear to God, I'm so mad that we have not gotten it. We got three guppy items, which is carrying me to a large degree, but this deal with the devil is going to go a long way towards determining whether or not we're going to have much of a chance in the future. Krampus's head is being charged up perfectly. I appreciate that. Death, don't do this, man. Okay, no deal with the devil. We're going. We're going down on the next floor. You might say, hey, explore. Maybe you'll get a Joker card or something like that. Unlikely without any skulls, or very few skulls on the ground at least. I think uh, the game, if the game has taught us anything right now, it's that we're on our own. And honestly, I'm okay with that. You know? it's At least it's good to know where we stand. The pill rotation on this run is absolutely fucking crazy. Balls of steel, health upgrades all over the place, 48 hour energies, hematomesis is... Ugh. Ugh. My heart, man. This run is, is bad for my heart. Thank fucking Christ. We at least got boss rush done. Now people, I know they weren't trying to be uh, rude or anything like that. But they said, hey, boss, you should have done boss rush on that one where you beat the chest, because boss rush is the most difficult part of beating the game as the lost on hard mode. And um, I disagreed with them at the time. I was like, I just wanted to make sure that we had the best chance possible to do the best stuff possible, blah, blah. I don't know what I was talking about. But um, now that that's done, that should really make it, it's encouraging for me to make it to the chest. And let's be honest, I'm not trying to get cocky at all, but... Again, just being honest here. I'm just being honest. If we can actually make it to um, 
the dark room. There's a pretty good chance. Yeah. Well, like, there's a better than zero chance we get guppies. Well, nine lives. And uh, you know what pisses me off? Is that we're if we win on this run, we were so, so close to actually making it fit into the streak. Let's just pour one out for that for a second. Because I'm, uh... Look, I'm not salty over it. But how awesome would it be? And we came pretty freaking close. Maybe. Okay, one up. One up, kid. Nothing at all. What do you want to see in the secret room, Bob? One up! That is wrecking my voice. I cannot keep doing that. Got like a little tone loke thing going on here. Oh, okay. Red chests. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful! That's Pokemon Snap, in case you were uh, curious. Nope, 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 nope. Not going out like that. Yes, would love to. Thank you. All right, now we beat Mom's heart without taking damage. The fly generation is out of control with, with Krampus's head. We're going down, down. So we'll check in here just to see if there was anything. Maybe like a tinted rock behind that Satan. Okay, we're on Shola's The Lost. We've already beaten Boss Rush. This run has already been a victory despite the fact that we've lost the streak. I expected that when we ran into The Lost, that would probably just be, you know, our death, basically. Uh, we have to try. If we get nine lives in here, we're s with smooth sailing. I don't want to touch anything else because it could be spiders. Oh, shit. We're all right. This might be one of our last chances here, apart from the, the dark room itself, to actually get nine lives. The flies are doing so much damage. I appreciate that so much. Trying to be appreciative in the hopes that the game works with me. Okay, that's fine, you know? We didn't lose any HP on that room. How can I how can I be salty about it? Man, these flies are crazy. Ooh, these flies are crazy. I've been thinking maybe. Daily soul decision reference. Oh, wait, is there a curse room? Now if there's a curse room, we can actually visit it with this stars card to teleport out at the end. I don't like losing our flies. I'd like to keep them if possible. Please. Please. Okay, more spirit hearts. That's pretty good. Gotta be careful. Like, what if we crush that rock somehow? I don't know why it crushed, but what if we crushed that rock and it actually had a freaking uh, bomb inside of it? Would we have just lost the run right there? If nothing else, I have to admit, I'm taking some pleasure in this run for the people who said, Oh, that first Northern Lion run... With the the mom's knife, the triple shot, the proptosis action was too easy. Look, that run, that had a lot of potency associated with it. But I didn't get hit over the course of the entire run. This one, yeah, we got guppy. After surviving without getting hit for about 100,000 years. And we have Ipecac, an item which we could so easily blow ourselves up with. Oh, that eh, big miss, but... I didn't know those haunts shot at us. Was that like a champion haunt at the end of the room or something? I really don't like this room and I'm tempted to use Krampus's head. But I'd much rather use Krampus's head during the Satan fight. Because if we use Krampus's head during the Satan fight, we, uh, we'll keep the flies within the Satan fight. We won't lose them prior to it. Oh, there's our secret room. One up. One up. It's just a couple of keys. Just a crummy commercial. Good shit. Good shit. Come on. You you should be scared, honestly. But you shouldn't have signed up for this job in the first place, you dang asshole. This is a 29-minute loss run here. You don't get those all that often. Oh, okay. So that was maybe not a great usage of Krampus's head. I thought it was a double cage room. No one, I know, you know, you might be fronting out there. No one out there is going to say, hey, you shouldn't be using uh, that shit on a double cage room. You should be using that shit on a double cage room. That is not a Joker card. One of my last remaining hopes for nine lives, or even Holy Mantle for that matter, is getting uh, a Joker card and then popping it on the next floor. I don't think it does anything on this floor now. But on the next floor, it could it could save the world. It could be the sunlight in my universe. 
We're gonna take uh, the stars with us in case we do find a curse room somewhere, I guess. Somewhere we'll find a curse room. It will contain the carcass of beloved family pets that'll save our whole damn game. Sorry, I got a little morbid there. Thanks for the HP, dog. Really appreciative of that. Maybe an eternal heart in here would really top this off. Oh! Double pills. Hematomesis. Oh my god, this is great. Seven red hearts. No, fuck these guys. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No Krampus's head. That's okay. That's okay. Flies are gonna be nuts. Let's start taking shots. Fallen should not stand a chance. Now, this phase. Anything can happen. Oh, never mind. Not anything could happen here. That was very fast. Okay, flies, work with me, 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 work with me. Do some work in my name or go into the dark room. Ooh. Okay. We also just unlocked the mind, I just saw. The body cannot live without the mind. Let's do this. Let's do this. Nine lives, baby. No spiders. That's spirit hearts. That's spiders, but good spiders. Nine lives. That is not nine lives. Well, looks like we're doing this one the old-fashioned way, huh? Alrighty. Just don't take damage on the dark room. No holy mantle. No nine lives. Guppy's collar saved my ass. Admittedly, it would give me an incredibly perverse sense of pleasure if I could get all of the lost achievements never having nine lives or holy mantle. That would make me feel incredible. Widow should not pose much of a threat, but sometimes the smallest enemies give you the biggest problems. Red chest, red chest, regular chest, red chest. I hate you. Wretched shouldn't give us too many problems, but sometimes, you know, it's the smallest enemies that give us the biggest problems. Oh, it's it's real. All we have to do is find the boss room now. The Algiz rune is the game-winning rune. I'm starting to feel the pressure, you guys. It's real. 45 seconds of invincibility is enough for me to kill the Lost. Without a doubt. Yes, this is good. Keep the flies out of it. Just generate more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pyromaniac. We can't get hit by our own explosions anymore. Our own explosions won't hurt us. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. Is it real? I can't believe it. We might have a chance. You could do anything. I did not harbor a hope in goddamn hell that this would happen. No flies. This is a no fly zone now. Which direction are you going, motherfucker? Okay, you spooked me a little bit. I hate this. Should just keep firing. Our own ex my own explosions can't hurt me. Oh my god, you guys. It's the final room. I had to. I had to. I had to. I feel okay about it. Thank you. Thank you, flies. I love you. Don't make me pop the Algas rune here. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, we're gonna have a chance. Oh my god, we're gonna have a chance. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Pop it. Pop it right away. Don't, don't give him a chance. Get in there. Let that cube of meat get up in that ass. Oh, it's real. The dream is real. Oh, man. All right. Well, the bad news is the streak is at one. The good news is check out that shit right there. I did a little tiny guitar solo. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. The quest for real Platinum God is now on.